Hi, everybody. How are you? Here we are. It's late summer. Hello. It's video time. Here we are. It's late summer. We got a, a um, Weizenborn. This is a real Weizenborn. Uh, and this is my Weizenborn. So the story starts here. These Weizenborns are made in the 20s. Uh, if you've never seen one before, they're kind of rare to see. Um, in the old days, you couldn't get a hundred bucks for a Weizenborn. Now this is probably a $3,500 guitar. And then the ones that are have trim even more. And, and they're highly sought after because people who want to play a, a lap guitar want a Weizenborn. There's not many people that make them. There are some Chinese copies out there and they suck. But this is actually built under a great deal of tension. With its hollow neck, this sound chamber goes all the way up here. There's an enormous amount of tension, so getting somebody to make one, it ain't easy. Trust me, because, now that's my real Weizenborn, our friend who makes Finn mandolins, and we're down to our last Finn. <laughs> Cycles old wood. There's a story of him getting stuck in a garbage dumpster and the fire department had to get him out. But he needed the wood inside there because he will use old flooring, old construction sites, and his wood is always at least a hundred years old and hand carved. He will tap tune the top and the back so they're an octave apart. You do that by making the sound holes larger or smaller. He's a violin maker by trade, but now, now, Finn has made a Weizenborn that is a copy of mine. Look at the bridge and the shape of the bridge. Look at the inlay, the fingerboard, the headstock shape. It's a really cool guitar. So I know there's probably only 2% of you out there that think this is neat. But I don't care. This is neat. I'm using a light glass weight slide with a heavier slide, you can get a little more volume out of it. And the authority to the note. For those of you that have hand troubles, that are having some arthritis issues, this is a great way to get past that. For those of you that want to play like a dobro type guitar, this is a great way around that. These Weizenborns, again, they are hollow all the way through. It took him a long time to tackle it. We're so excited, we have one made of old wood. Again, this is old hundred year old wood with old spruce on the top and an old mahogany back. We never know what kind of wood he's going to bring this in on, but the mahogany is fantastic and it's ancient mahogany. This is a great news. I am buzzing with excitement to be able to find a local guy and our friend Finn is having health problems. So we're happy to have this a win-win situation. So if you've been looking for a Weizenborn, I got two. They're under $3,000 and handmade. You can look up other people that make them out of Hawaii and they're quite a bit more money. So there you go. There's my good news. Weizenborn from the people that brought you Finn Mandolins.